This is a quick tutorial to show you how to modify the default text style in Illustrator CS5. Right, I've just got some select text here and you will see it will be Myriad Pro. That's basically when you start typing text it will come up Myriad Pro. Of course you can change the character but if you want to always like use Arial you can go to File, Open and you can go to your username account and that's my one is actually basic but it could be Fred, Steve, whatever. Then app data, now you might have to actually display the app data, it might be a hidden folder so you might have to uh, go to your uh, system and set uh, all folders to be visible. That's in the properties for the operating system. App data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator CS5 settings, EN underscore GB, of course it might be EN underscore US if you're in the US, and new document profiles. Now you will see there basic RGB.ai. So open at that point, and you will see Myriad Pro there. Right. I'm actually going to set it to normal cache. Right. So you want to go to the character style palette, and you find that in the window. Type character style. So you go to the character style, normal character style. Just going to double click on that. Normal character style, mirrored pro. So basic character format, and I'm going to put it down to quickly put it to Vidana. And I'm just going to say size 14. Okay. Click OK. Now that's been updated there. And I'm going to save. Save the document. Just going to come out of there. Exit. Quickly start it up again. Just to Right, let's start it up. New, new document, basic RGB. Click OK. Click text. And it's Vedana. So instead of Myriad Pro appearing, you've actually got Vedana appearing. So that's a quick and easy way of modifying does actually have a bit of trial and error because I did notice on my system I've got EN underscore GB, EN underscore US as well as uh, the uh, similar files located in different locations like in program files so you might have to uh, find out on your system exactly which uh, um, file to open so uh, let's say it's uh, in my case it seems to be the one there but in yours it might be like if you're in the US or something you would find EN underscore US and you will find a, a similar equivalent new document profiles and basic RGB. Now, if you're using CMYK, you'd obviously update that document and the character style. So, so you just so I'm just going to quickly show you that one. Just go back to my EN underscore GB and new document profiles, CMYK. And again, you go into there and it's Myriad Pro. So I don't want Myriad Pro. I want, say, I'm going to go for normal character style again always remember to click on that instead of just waste time editing it there you need to actually edit it in the character styles so go to the character styles palette key thing there double click on that and new character so um, new news gothic st standard right and again put the size 14 click ok there save that now if I Okay. No. Exit out there again. Just start it all up just to get back to the default state for AI. So, Illustrator. Start it all up again. And now I'm just going to quickly show you. you know, weird thing is, it actually shows it over there as character Myriad Pro. So, it's determined to bring Myriad Pro back in, but it's not going to get it. So, new. And instead of CM, I'm just going to go to the basic CMYK, click OK, and now voila, News Gothic STD. So that's your start text. So if you start typing with text, you will see News Gothic STD. Now, on the Mac, the location is slightly different, and you might gain a bit of trial and error to actually find where it's actually located, but it should be in your users account and in your library folder for under application support Adobe and then 
Adobe Illustrator, CS4, CS5, whatever, and you will find it in Ian underscore US, and then basic underscore RGB dot AI again. But uh, again, that might again might have different trial and error trying to lo that, locate that file. But uh, that should be the location for the file. Uh, it should be in the library section anyway. So uh, be up to update that, and hopefully then you'll uh, never see Mirrored Pro again unless you happen to want Mirrored Pro as your default text font. Okay.